What's up, what's up, what's up, what's happening, people? It is your boy, Tony B. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Poetry, Politics, and Life, where we bear it all. I am your host, Tony Briscoe. We're going to get right into it. Let's go and welcome Hey, what's up? Yes, I miss y'all. Y'all boys still in them books. I just wanted to talk, uh, call, and share uh, real quick what's going on in my world and to just pay some homage and acknowledgement. We are kicking off with Women's History Month. And I love my black queens. I love all of God's daughters, regardless of their uh, race. I know some would have us not to follow that, but that's just not how I get down or roll. But I do love uh, my black sisters and think highly of them. And with that being said, I want to give kudos to a black woman. Uh, it's my cousin. Uh, her name is Arlene Jones. She died in 09 October. And so I'd like to just sh- share about her. Cuz died 09 October. You can spend a lifetime talking about roughness in your childhood and you forget the people who gave you a chance to live. My cousin Arlene was no punk. All of us remember two resounding themes she hated or stated. She hated a liar and a thief. If you steal from me, you will lie to me about doing it. You will learn how to read and write. A woman with two kids of her own took in me and my brother. Eight people for a while lived in a three bedroom apartment next to Rebecca K. Crown Community Center. I went from the projects of Ida B. Wells to the South Shore area. My poetry is laced with joy and trauma, but I will tell you this, that the last seven years of my life with Arlene was like mother and son. The conversations we shared the healing we embraced and the learning to love each other through the eyes of Yeshua and not resentment bonded us forever. She knew things and relationships I had as a child and never said a word about it until later in life. We talked about missed moments and so much more that I cannot publicly share. As I look at the time that I lost with friends and family that I never saw again after leaving Ida B. Wells, I must also think about my amazing community, my friends and colleagues that I met in high school, and the amazing Jerry Torrey, God rest his soul, who introduced me to one of the most profound experiences in my life at Camp Rosenthal. When I think about being a son of the gospel and my apostolic family, when I think about my experiences, I am grateful for her giving me an opportunity to live. I am grateful for her sharing her children, my cousins, my brother and sister, Jackie and law. I would go on to have two other foster moms in less than a year after I ran away in 1988. My cousin Trisha, who I was only with for a couple of months, who taught me the power of prayer and to my eternal love, Lee Wells, one of God's greatest gifts to me. Lee embodies everything I do and my purpose and why I love so hard. Like Arlene, she had two of her own children and made room for more. We would all be stuffed into a car going to Joseph Warren, Christy and Kenny and Rod and me and La and Venetra. Arlene would just roll us all out. And I think about those great moments of my past that was not all bad. Arlene was not around to see me graduate from college 10 years after her death, but she was around to see me minister and dance, hear me share my poetry with thousands, and see me leave to serve my country after 9-11. How's destiny? Arlene, my daughter's name is Journey. That's what I said. How's destiny? Okay, you win, cuz. At her funeral, I closed with a spoken word tribute. I'm sad it took your death for the first time for me to acknowledge you as mom. Rest on cuz. I mean mom. I wanted to share that. 
Because for years I lived as a angry, broken individual. But as I got older, I began to accept and embrace life differently. And that's what I want to encourage you to do today. If you're struggling with your past, and you don't know how to overcome. And you're not ready to go to counseling. Man, just email me. Let's talk about it. And I can let you know how counseling has benefited me over the years, how my faith has benefited me over the years. But other than that, beautiful people, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Get healing from your past. Your past is not your present and your present is not your future. Don't let pain drag you down. God bless.